I will discuss how to make a Taguchi design from this given data of a full factorial design with three factors named A, B, C and three levels 1, 2, 3. Further, I will also explain that I have few values with negative signs. So how to deal with that because Minitab will not solve the Taguchi design with negative observations and then I will solve the Taguchi signal to noise ratio in the Excel. Let's start the video. I made this Taguchi L9 orthogonal array in the Minitab. It's very easy. Go to stat, then go to DOE, then go to Taguchi. In the Taguchi, create a Taguchi design. I have three levels and three factors. Go to design, select L9 because I can only pick nine observations from the full factor design that corresponds to a Taguchi design. I haven't, if I have three replications of a full factor design, then I can select L27. Right now, I can only select L9, click OK, then click on factors. I have three factors named A, B, C, one, two, three levels for each, click OK, then go to options, yes, store in the worksheet, click OK, and then OK. So here, I got the Taguchi L9 orthogonal array. So, so now I have nine these treatments. Now I have to select the value of the outcome. Let's let me write it outcome. Then we will go to the Excel file. And in the Excel file, you people can see that in the data I have one 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 setting with the outcome 22.99. So in the mini tab, one 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 you will have to write 22.99. For the second value, I have one two two. So in the Excel file, I have to select one two two and in front of it 39.19. So I will write here. 39.19 so you can pause the video and you can say uh, you can see these settings and all of these settings have been shown there with an arrow symbol okay so the next setting is 133 with 45.05 so 133 45.05 you can do the rest of these because the video length will be too much lengthy then so these are all of the rest of uh, settings that we can copy additional information i have l27 this design taguchi l27 so you can see that the treatment number one 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 has been repeated thrice so one two three likewise you can see the next three treatments at number four five and six they are also repeated you can see one two two one two two and one two two so this was the second treatment in the l line so it is quite obvious to you people that each treatment in the l line has been repeated thrice in the l27 i picked the whole data set and after this uh, these outcomes so i have to select the criteria higher the better or larger the better i have selected i have three criteria: higher the better smaller the better and nominal the better the same analysis in the mini tab with the negative values and positive both no because when we go to the analysis of the taguchi design the taguchi will not do the analysis for negative value so you will get the error in order to avoid it, the last option we have is excel the step two is selection of the formula and the reference to so this formula has been selected from a research paper with the name this one so you can see it so the first step is taking the square of y i j whole square in the taking the square of each initial observation i have taken using the formula h73 raised to power 2 so h73 is my data point or observation so likewise the square of all of the values have been taken there after that i will do 1 divided by each value that i have taken this square so you can see it here that i have did for this uh, cell cell 117 1 divided by f104 now f104 is the ninth treatment observation 2090 so in the 117 number cell i did 1 divided by f104 that is 2090.3184 so far we have done with this part now one by x means that x means the number of replication i have one replication so one divided by one means one the rest of part is minus 10 multiplied by log of base 10 so now we will apply the formula for this log and the result will be over signal to noise ratio so minus 10 multiplied by log of 10 with f109 now f109 is here you can see it is the 
value of for the associated with the first observation so i have dragged down the formula and we got the all of the signal to noise ratio now i we come towards the interpretation we look for the highest signal to noise ratio this is uh, 40.400 this is the optimal value within the tabuchi orthogonal array and the associated value is a2 b3 c1 how we got it if we go towards the orthogonal array so you can see that six number is a2 b3 and c1 now if we now if we want such an optimal setting that is outside of this taguchi orthogonal array so we will have to calculate the table of means of signal to noise ratio and how we can do it so this is the table for the mean of signal to noise ratio so you can see that a factor has three level 1 2 3 so what we have to do we will take the mean of signal to noise ratio of a at level 1 so how we can do it so you can see for a the th first three values are respond to the level 1 so we will do it like this that first of all go to the this table of signal to noise ratio so select here for example average a v e r a g e so a sorry average and then take the mean of first three values so you got 30.722 then for the second a i have level 2 2 associated with the value 4 5 and 6 so you can see it's 30.72 so now we will take the average of next three levels is equal to average of the values associated with 4 5 and 6 then we will take the average that is associated with the 7 8 9 let me tell you in the tabuchi orthogonal array this thing so this is 3 3 3 with the 7 8 9 and these are the values 25.29 26.93 26.93 25.29 25 so we have done the mean table of means for this first column likewise if we want to do it for the b so you can see the first level of the b so the first level of the b is at sample number 1 sample 4 and sample 7 so i have to take the mean of these one so this is this will be equal to average of sample number 1 comma sample number 4 and sample number 7 i will make this table in the next video because it's getting too much lengthy so please watch my another video in the playlist that is based on how we can calculate or how we can make a table for the means thanks for watching this video let's see this value only 18.47 so you can see it here 18.48 because due to round off thanks for watching the video bye